Do you think animation is difficult? Well, let's take a look at this Ferris wheel. I actually created this cute and fun Ferris wheel by just using PowerPoint. And I can show you how. Well, stick with me to the end. Let's go. start by selecting this uh, donut shape it's actually like a circle with hollow and then you adjust the, uh, the thickness and you want to make it a little thin and you know you can adjust the size um, it can be uh, as big as you want as small as you want I'm just gonna go with this and I arrange this into the middle then select the circle and then you want to um, press shift on your keyboard um, when you create this circle and you select um, sh uh, the circle and the donut shape and then go arrange align and then click align center again go to arrange align and then you select align middle so you have the circle in the center of this donut shape then you select the rectangle shape and this rectangle shape is going to be a very long rectangle and it goes across the uh, the circle shape from one end of the donut shape to the other end then you control D to duplicate this shape and then you want to select rotate and rotate left 90 degrees so you can go rotate right as five too and then you want to make sure that you adjust the position of this um, long rectangle to be in the middle of the circle then you control D to, to duplicate another one and then you go ahead and you want to adjust the rotation and you want to make sure that the rotation set something is like 45 degrees and if you've got that and you can just take it to the middle of the circle again so make sure that everything goes um, passing through the middle you click on that you control D you have another one then you click on rotate flip vertical then you make um, an X mark uh, in the middle of the circle so you have like a plus a plus mark and then X mark so now you have like a Ferris wheel um, Thing. okay then you want to uh, bring the circle to front you can either bring that to front or you don't have to that's fine too let me just bring that to front for now and see how it looks and I just want to select everything because I want to change the color of this and um, go to the shape fill and then you select whatever color you want I think I'm going to go with um, Let's see if orange works. Um, I think I'm going with this a little bit more grayish, and of course with no outline. And then I think I'm gonna just change the the color of the middle of this first wheel a little bit, and I think I'm gonna select this orange, yellowish orange type of uh, color. Now you've got this and I'm just gonna move everything up a little bit so you have space for the base uh, of the ferris wheel and uh, the trick is oh let me change it I think I'm probably gonna send this to the back so you can just right click send to the back send to the back so you kind of see um, everything all together here it's gonna be better for you to see it and um, I would try to think if I can add the shape outline maybe it looks better so I added the shape outline and I think it looks a little I think it's like more permanent okay so I selected the um, the triangle shape and you want the tip of it to be in the middle of the circle and you want to send everything to back you right click send to back and send to back and you don't um, you want the let me see if I can make this. I don't think this is good. So you, I think go with the shape outline with no fill. And then the shape outline, I want to adjust the width of it. Um, I would select 15. I think 15 looks good. So it looks a little thick. Okay. And then we'll just go to shape outline, select orange color. So it will be the same as the, the circle one. And by this time, I think no shape outline will be better for the circle. So I think I'll go with that and maybe change the width a little bit. So I think it's too thin. I mean, you can just play around with this uh, width a little bit and you can either choose as wide as you want or as thin as you want. I also ended up choosing the 20 for the width. Now you just select 
the base and I think maybe trapezoid which would be better mm, I try to rectangle and I don't like it that much so I go with the trapezoid let's see I see okay I think this I think this is better this trapezoid shape is better than the, the rectangle you can also choose rectangle as well it's it's okay too now I'm just gonna change the color and let's see mm, I don't know what color I mean you can go ahead and choose any color you want I like this dark blue here more like a dark navy blue um, I think this looks perfect now so we're gonna add um, this shape that looks like our circle with the plus in the middle so this is going to be our uh, first wheels uh, cart and I select this more like a um, half circle shape as well because I want it to um, be more like a door for the card um, where you know you can just like open up for for the people to like go in and this is gonna be the place where you can change the color of uh, the card as well so let me sorry let me adjust this a little bit it might take some time so you don't have to do this if you don't want to you can also um, choose to have a card like can be any other shape if you want um, It's up to you. Okay Okay, I think I'm gonna have this and then we're just gonna change the color of that so that's gonna be the window and then um, So this is like so annoying Okay, and then I'll adjust the, um, this a little bit so then I can see it better. Alright. Let's see if we can do that. That is awesome. Okay. Alright. Sorry guys, this is more like, um, me being so... Oh, got this! Okay, so change the color. And you can choose any other color you want. I'm just gonna go with red for now. And then I don't like outline, so I said no outline for this. And um, mm, let me just see if the get the outline for the window. I would say dark blue. I say dark blue. Okay. And let me make this a little bit lighter. Okay, I'll go with this. I like this better so go with this light blue with the shape of lights a little bit of dark blue and we want to control everything and you right click and say group group and you select everything so then it groups together so when you adjust the size it will go um, together okay so now you have that then you just have to control and D then you have another one and then you can just like you know put as many as you want and I just want to make sure that it goes like directly on the opposite so you just keep uh, control D to add more cards and that is going to be that one so we have four one two three four five six seven eight so we're gonna have eight in total uh, so I'm just gonna finish adding this and I think more for the outline this is what you want and this is it you can actually just keep it like this or you can just change the color of the card which is I'm going to do now so you can have like different colors for different cards and I think that's more like what a lot of Ferris wheels are because they have like this card uh, pink card blue card whatever so let's change the color a little bit you can just choose as in any color you want and usually it's gonna be like the opposite card um, that has the same color okay all right so this is like orange you don't have to change it you can just like go with like one color um, it's fine too but I think this is gonna be like pretty um, in my opinion so uh, let me check on everything real quick I think okay all right so I'll select everything like all this and then you control G to group everything together 
and then you go with the emphasis and you add a uh, spin you make sure the speed is very slow and you go with previous and actually I just want to select timing myself for the speed you put 10 seconds for that I think that's better okay because very slow is still too too fast let me try something else. Let's see if 9 it's going to be okay. You said can repeat until next click. Okay, let's go with 9. You can stay with like 10, that's fine too. Now we just want to add the animation for the for the cart. And you go with the add effect and um and go with the motion paths and you select go with the motion paths and then you select um circle. And then you want to adjust the circle and make sure that it's as big as your ferris wheel. Uh, now this is what you have to do. And you actually have to just like do this for uh, all of the cards and then you'll be done. Okay. And don't forget, um, see for the second card, you will have to rotate your, uh, your path of motion a little bit. And you want to make sure that uh, you create this circle as big as the first one. And every circle needs to be in the same size but you will have to start wherever your card is so you check on the start position of the of the animation as well okay Okay, so after that, you select everything. You want to make sure everything goes with previous, and you want to adjust the um, the speed for every animation to be the same time. So you will select the speed, and I think I'm going to select um, eight for trying it. Repeat until next click, and see how it goes. Make sure that you don't have the smooth start and the smooth end. Okay. Alright guys, so you, you got your ferris wheel here and um, don't forget to leave that comment below how you feel about this video, how you like about it and this is my second style ferris wheel that you can do it too. I leave out um, the link in the description so you can probably go ahead and download the PowerPoint file as well and don't forget to check out other videos too guys. Well, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!